The United States is owned by foreign corporations. Nixon opened it up for foreign trade. And when Nixon opened up for foreign trade, uh, the people of Europe and the common market in Spain and different places, they don't care about the United States forest. And in short, the United States has been sold out by people who really don't care for anything but money. I've had all the money in the world three times. I had to give it back to keep the game going. What game? The game. It's a game. Money is a game. It's only real to the people who work for it. The people that don't need to work for money, they it's, you know, it's a monopoly game. It's a, it's a game of um, paper. It's all on paper. I've got a production company, and I've got a recording company, and I've got a mansion in Beverly Hills, and I've got Rolls Royces and Ferraris. I've got everything money can buy, but it's all on paper. Everything's done through the companies and through the tax loopholes. And, and the people that live on that level, they don't care about the average honest mule that just goes back and forth to work. Uh, they don't care about the children that are in the streets that are thrown out of this upper echelon of existence. And then when all the children fall down into me on my level, I pretty much identify with them because I was a throwaway also. So it goes to the point of, do you really care? When you said... And who does care? And if anybody cares, they're considered crazy. I've been 15 years in the nut ward for trying to stop the trees from being cut down, from trying to uh, rearrange a lifestyle of a bunch of people who don't want to change. But they're going to change because the cold wind is blowing. The things that we do as human beings that are accepted and called right a hundred years ago have changed. Years ago we could cut down trees and we could afford an exuberant lifestyle. We can't afford that no more. We're running out of atmosphere. We're running out of water. Our water is becoming so poisoned and so polluted we're not going to be able to drink it. Um, the trees are being cut down so fast. Lumber companies are just... The United States is Owned by Why don't you tell them the water is so bad the fish can't live in it? Why don't you tell them that the polar caps are melting because you're creating so much heat with this machine? You see what I'm saying? Why don't you tell them the truth? That we were going to blow the world up in the 60s, but a handful of kids jumped up and said, no, give the other children a chance. And they saved it from being... God, I guess you're my best friend, being I invented you. You believe in God, Charles? Sure, I believe in myself. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> which one? Are you Jesus Christ? Which, which Jesus? There's all kinds of Jesus. There's a black Jesus down in Florida. He's having a good time. There's a Mexican Jesus in Mexico. I mean, there's all kinds of Jewish Jesus. I mean, Jesus, you know. There's all kinds of Jesus coming back everywhere. And nothing can stop it. It's a consciousness that lives in your mind. <laughs> Even the confusion is love in one form or another. It's misguided. Uh, love is a word that we use to supplement for God, or I would like, I would rather use the word intelligence. If you're going to use the word love, use the word intelligence. Because love is misunderstood in so many different ways and fashions. Do you need to be loved? Loved. I am loved. By whom? I am love. You're, are you loved? I am love. Are you loved? All the way. Okay. There's no radio. There's no clocks. There's no electric lights. The girls carry water. They don't wear makeup. They have their babies by themselves. They go in the shack and squat down and have their babies. I live on the ground. I live on the earth. I don't live. I lived in Hollywood, and I had all that. The Rolls Royce and the Ferrari and the pad in Beverly Hills. I had the surfboard and the Beach Boys and the Beast Keys and the Neil Diamond and the Rob Scott and the Jimmy Schiffin and the Elvis Presley's, Mesca Besley's and all them guys. The Dina Martins and the Nancy Sinatra's and the, and the Gaffer Safran. Will you do it to me? I hear you do it good, honey, and all that kind of. Will you come up to my house later? 
So I went through all that and I seen that was a bigger prison than the one I just got out of and I really didn't care to go back to prison. See, prison doesn't begin and end at the gate. Prison is in the mind. It's locked in one world that's dead and dying or it's open to a world that's free and alive. Drugs, LSD, I don't consider a drug. I don't consider poverty a drug. Those are more or less religiously significant awareness mind expanding apparatuses that come from the intelligence of the universe. The reason that the girls liked me was, hey now, hey now, I'm all around you, around you, hey now, up on your heart I can sing through you. And I play and I sing and they say, hey man, you, you got, you got soul in that music. And I said, yeah, I, I play a little bit, you know. I like you. And they said, man, you're really somebody. I said, oh, I am? Oh, I just got out of jail. I don't know what somebody is. They like my music. They say, man, we want to get you over. I said, get me over for what? They said, we take you down here to Beverly Hills, and we want to get you in with, because you're a star. I said, I'm a what? They said, you're a star. So they took me to the Beach Boys, and I went and I got on a surfboard, and I rode around, and I looked, and I said, gee, Quayla Chingasos, this is more... This is more trouble than what I just got out of. You got nine, nine, look at yourself. You got to wear that, whether you like it or not. You got to do things. You got to get up and go through all kinds of changes. Whether you want to or not doesn't matter. Your whole life is put in your paycheck. I don't, you couldn't pay me all the money in the world to do something I don't want to do. If I'm shoveling the barn and you want me to go to uh, desk and run for I say, no, 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 I'm doing something right here. I'm helping this blind man. I feel better in doing what I want to do. I did not break the law. Jesus Christ told you that 2,000 years ago. You don't understand me. That's your trouble. Not my fault because you don't understand me. I don't understand you either. But I don't spend my whole life trying to put the blame over on you because my cigarette didn't light or because something didn't work right. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. I don't need to live in this physical realm. I walk around in the physical realm and I put on the faces and I talk and I play and hang yeah, It's just a big act, man. In the spiritual world is where I live. I exist in places you never even dreamed of. You talk about, you know, this little physical realm you live in, guilty and is he in sin. Well, how's your courts guilty? How many people do you think you've hung on the ventilators in the nut wards and forced medication on them? You see what I'm saying? You don't have any idea what the hell's going on. If you knew what the hell was going on in your own system, then you'd say, oh, now I see what's creating this. Society's creating it. Society's saying, we want these Rambos. We want these killers. Oh, wow, man. Look at that dude there. And you got little kids looking in, in the book, and um, what are they selling in it? Oh, yeah, Sears and Roebuck. Rambo from 12 to 15. Uh, Kai Karate from age 5 to 17. And you've got all your kids out here doing these crazy things. Now you want to come and say, Charlie Manson's the father of our country. We're convicting you for being Jesus Christ. We're convicting you for being the devil. We're convicting you for being responsible for our actions. I'm not responsible for anyone's actions but my own. I mean, I got this little space. My life is bigger than this little space. I live in the desert. I live in the mountains, man. I'm big. My mind is big. But everybody's trying to pry me down and push me down and make me into all these little things that they need me to be. And that's not me at all, man. That's not me. The way you go to court, they need a conviction. They need criminals, man. They need people to lock up in cages. If they didn't have people to lock up in cages, man, they wouldn't be able to sell more fear to the public. And they sell more fear to the public, and all the old women, they love to buy that fear. Is there any positive side to Charlie Manson? Positive what? Oh, come on, man. You didn't complete the other thought. Positive to Charlie Manson. I'm both negative and positive. Are you good and evil? I'm everything. You're evil? I'm everything, man. How do you feel about the fact that you're going to spend the rest of your life there? The rest of my life where? Right here. You guys are poor. You've been living a thousand illusions, man. The rest of your life where? In prison. In prison. What prison? you got a prison in your mind. You see what I'm saying? You're in prison, son. You're the one that's in jail because you think there is such a thing as a prison. You know, mm -hmm. And I've never met anybody that I could learn something from. But now that I have learned what I've learned, 
I don't think you people want to know what I know. You wouldn't like it. Why? Well, because it's not very nice. Well, why? Because the people that you let run your lives aren't very nice. The people that govern you, the people that tell you people what to do, they're not good people. Charlie Manson that you created, that's not me. <laughs> that's only an illusion in your minds. It hasn't got anything to do with me. I have many.